Hi, my name is Kristen Baird. I'm the Violin Teaching Artist with the Florida Orchestra. And this video today, we're gonna to learn how to play an E flat major scale and arpeggio one octave, starting on the low first finger on the D string. This is gonna be the first video that we address a low four, so um, a new finger pattern today. As always, there's a handout you can download and follow along with the video so you can have what we're doing written out in front of you. Our objectives today, I can play a one octave E flat major scale on arpeggio starting on the low first finger on the D string. I can play A flat and E flat in tune using a low fourth finger, that's that fourth finger I was telling you about. And I can sing an E flat major scale using the musical alphabet and the E flat major key signature. Our pro tip for today, make sure to use your eyes to see if your finger looks like it's in the right spot. Use your ears to listen and see if our notes are in tune from what you're hearing in the video. And then use your sense of touch to remember where that note was. Let's get started. Of course, because we're playing E flat major scale, I'm gonna turn on an E flat drone as well as a metronome at 60 beats per minute. So our quarter note equals 60 and we'll be playing half notes. Our pro tip today, one last time, make sure you use your eyes to look at your finger, make sure it's in the right spot. Use your ears to listen to see if your finger's in the right spot um, from what you're hearing from the video. And then if it is, when you get it right, make sure you're using your sense of touch to then remember what that feels like. Let's play our E flat major one octave scale and arpeggio. One, two, ready, go. scales we have a couple of notes that have hearts underneath of them those are our TLC notes for today and I marked them under the A flat and the higher E flat because those notes are our low fours and that's the new finger pattern that we're talking about today and a low four I also wrote in the music with a arrow down and a reminder a low four is when our fourth finger is next to our regular third finger it's called low four because the closer your finger is to the scroll, the lower the pitch. So let me come up to the camera and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So to make sure I'm starting off on the right note, I'm gonna set up my hand frame. So I'm gonna play open D and then E flat. Good, all right, now, now I'm ready to start my scale. I'll go note by note. E flat, F, G, A flat. That's our first low four. Over to the A string, B flat. C, D, and here's our other low four, E flat, that higher E flat. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the bottom of our scale and play the first four notes. This is regular old third finger G. Now here's my A flat. Notice they're right next to each other. So this is what we do want. Now, if I played regular A, A natural, if this was G and A natural, um, that's where my finger would be. But because we're in E flat major, I need an A flat. So if I put my finger up here, this is what that would sound like with an A natural. But we don't want A natural, we want A flat. All right, now, what if, this is my A natural, what if I bring my, I move my pinky, but not quite, quite far enough. What if he's not quite snug enough next to my three and I end up in uh, the infamous no man's land, flarp land. This is what that would sound like. We do not want this. Ooh, still makes me shiver. <laughs> All right, let's do it one more time. What we do want. Really nice and snug. And if I go over uh, to the A string and I keep going, it's the same thing. B flat, C, D, E flat. I want E flat. If 
I put my four up here for regular four, that's E, but of course we want E flat. And nice and snug so we don't end up in flarp land over here. Nice and snug. All right, there's another way you can also think of this. Um, and that's with whole steps and half steps. All of our scales are made up of whole steps or half steps. So if I start on E flat, F, G, A flat, then E flat to F would be a whole step. F to G would be a whole step. G to A flat. Remember, whenever I say those notes are snug next to each other, that's a half step. All right, and if we keep going up the scale, B flat to C would be a whole step. C to D, that would be another whole step. D to E flat, again, these are snug, so that would be a what? That's a half step. That's a lot of information, so let me play the E flat major scale one more time for you. Okay, with all that being said, let's play our E flat major scale and the arpeggio together. I'll put on the drone and the metronome and uh, keep an eye on those fours. Make sure they're nice and low and snug next to your regular three without moving your third finger. And our pro tip today, make sure that you're using your eyes to look at your fingers. Make sure those fingers are snug. Use your ears to listen to the video and try to match, make sure you're matching the pitch. And when you get it right, make sure you can uh, replicate it and ask yourself, what does that feel like? All right, let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. check our key signature. The first note name for E flat major, of course, is going to be, the note name is going to be E, technically E flat. And then we have F, G, after G in our musical alphabet comes A, B, C, D, E, technically E flat, of course, because it's an E flat major scale. And going from this E flat to this E flat is one octave. But we're not done, of course. Let's check our key signature. Right here, we have three flats. If you notice, the first flat is on the B line. The next flat is on the E space where E lives. And the third flat is where A lives. So our flats are B flat, E flat, and A flat. And every time you play B, E, or A, unless you're told otherwise with an accidental sign, they always need to be flat. Always B flat, E flat, A flat. So let's say our note names again with our flats from our key signature. So we'd have E flat, F, G, then A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat again. All right, let's sing our E flat major scale and arpeggio. E flat, okay, well, E flat, I'm gonna sing the lower octave. E flat, let's sing our scale, ready, go. E flat, F, G, A flat, B flat, C, D, E flat, and back down, D, C, B flat, A flat, G, F, E flat, and our arpeggio, E flat, skip F, G, skip A flat, B flat, E flat, B flat, G, E flat. All right, thank you for doing that with me. I know <laughs> singing scales is really not, um, not normally what people consider a ton of fun, but it's really important that we learn how to say the note names and sing them because it trains our ear how to 
keep track of what's correct and what's not correct, um, just like we have to train our muscles. So let's play our E flat major one octave scale on arpeggio again on our instrument. And keep in mind the low fours that we talked about and our pro tip today to use your eyes, your ears, and your sense of touch. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. 